Guys, welcome back to another video. It's your boy, Bob with Fred. You know the goddamn deal. All right, listen, guys. And by the way, I got my braces on top now. So if I'm talking a little different, uh, I'm getting used to that. All right. So today's video, we're talking about your daily budgeting and spending in Brazil. I get a lot of questions of people asking me, yo, how much money should I save up? How much money should I bring? What's the average cost per meal going out? So on and so forth. Do I go on a date? So I'm going to be breaking that down today for you guys. Again, these numbers are going to be slightly um, higher or lower depending on the person um, but this is just kind of average going across the board just due to statistics and what they've done with the numbers all right so uh, let's get into today's video make sure you guys like comment subscribe all that good shit and hope you guys enjoy this video you know I'm always bringing you guys informative videos all right so if what the haters say this is the channel where you're gonna find the most information about Brazil the ins and outs, the good, the bad, the ugly, and the beautiful, all right? So, without further ado, let's get into this. On average, number one, we're going to talk about food. On average, you're going to spend around 30 hay ice uh, per meal, right? Which is typically around six bucks, uh, depending on the currency when you come to Brazil. But it, based off right now, the currency is at like 5.28. So, the average meal is going to cost you around 30 hay ice, right? Which is six dollars. Um, now, if you go out with another young lady, you can account for that to be in around 12 bucks, depending on where you go. But the normal places, we ain't talking about expensive high-end restaurants. The normal average restaurant that you're going to go to, you're going to spend around $30 per just yourself. Uh, when you add somebody in, it's going to be around $12. All right, so that's the first $6. The average, I would say, that you're going to, that you're going to spend per day uh, is about $66, all right? Which is around 350 hay ice. And if you ask any of the guys, that's that's pretty much typical uh, now if you if you go out and drinking you need to add that on as well so I would say the average Kaipedin is gonna cost you around 20 to 25 dollars which is around four to five hay ice so uh, I don't know if you're a heavy drinker I know for myself I usually get around four to five Kaipedinas when I go to the beach so if I go to the beach four or five Kaipedinas let's say five dollars uh, I'm gonna spend around twenty-five dollars when I go to the beach on average, uh, just by my drinking. But you might be a lightweight, or you might drink more, so you need to depend on that. Uh, if you go to the beach and people are charging, what you will come into people uh, that's charging, you run, you run across people that's charging thirty to thirty-five hay ice, and that thirty-five is including a five-dollar tax if you use your card. So thirty hay ice. Uh, per Caipirinha is really expensive, bro. Uh, typically, they they range in between 15 hay ice to 20 to 25. So 15 to 25 is pretty typical. But once you get to that 30, 35 or more, they capping and they definitely gringo in your ass because that's just outrageous, especially when you're on the same beach. And I'm, I'm going to just say Puerto de Baja. There's a lot of people I don't sit with for the simple fact that they be charging 30 hay ice per Caipirinha when I can just walk, not even five uh five bahakas down and get a and get a strong big caipirinha for 15 hay ice so i know a lot of people be like oh bro that's only like a few dollars difference bro it's a difference when you're in brazil and shit is cheap and it's and, and you know when it's not cheap right second is going to be transportation what are you going to spend typically on transportation i would say around well i'll say this you're not going to need a lot of transportation because you're just going to be walking around. Typically, normally, if you stand in the uh, tourist areas, you're not going to need an Uber. Um, a lot of stuff is relatively close. I mean, let's just say Baja in Salvador, for instance. You got the mall right here. You got the beaches right here. You got restaurants on every corner. You got shopping centers. You got laundry mats. I mean, literally everything that you can think of is right here except for clubs. They don't have clubs in Baja, unfortunately, anymore. Um, they used to have this spot called Baja Music, but it doesn't really pop off like that anymore. Now, when you, go, when you need to call an Uber is if you're going to like the next city, well, next neighborhood, which would be Hero Vermelho, uh, which is about a 10 minute Uber ride, 15 minute Uber ride, which is gonna run you probably four or five bucks. Um, it's typically around 20, 20 to 25 hay ice to get there, maybe less. Uh, so you need to account for that as well. Um, so we'll say that we'll say around four bucks to get from here to there uh, if you want to go out for the nightlife and things like that. So typically when you go around 
20 to 30 minutes away. And that's also going to depend on the time of the day or the night when the Ubers are going to increase. But we're going to say on average, you're going to spend around four or five bucks on an Uber. Last but not least, where are you going to lay your head at? All right, so a lot of guys stay in hotels. A lot of guys get Airbnbs. And on average, you're going to spend around 50, 50 to 50, 50 to 60 dollars, right? And that's for, that's for, um, that's for two people. All right. So, um, the, the, it, and again, that's going to depend on when you come to Brazil. That's going to depend on where you're staying in Brazil. But if you're just basing it off of Baja and one thing I do want to add in, this is very important is that if you, if you know you're coming to Brazil and you're looking at prices in the United States, you need to get a VPN because they're going to track, they're going to geo track you and they're going to see they're looking for Airbnbs in the United States. And because of that, you're going to see a whole different price. All right. I've encountered this myself personally when I very first came to Brazil. Cause I was like, all right, look, I'm gonna have this apartment ready. Um, it's going to probably take a couple of days, but I'm going to at least get an Airbnb stay in that until the apartment's ready. And I'm looking at Airbnb price. I'm like, God damn, these prices is, 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 is steep. You know, like, so, I talked to my, my uh, friend at the time and she was like, well, I'll look too. The same exact Airbnbs was like, I mean, it was night and day difference in the price. And I can tell you, I can tell you that when I've done consultations and I'm looking at Airbnbs with guys on the phone and they're looking at the same exact thing, the prices are completely different. And it's unfortunate that you really can't, but if you have a VPN, which I suggest you getting a VPN to geo, geo place yourself here so it doesn't show you in the United States because it's going to show you American prices, uh, unfortunately. But on average, we'll say $56 for a hotel, and that's for two people. Um, so that's where you're going to get around that 60 I, I was trying to shoot around $66 on average, but we'll say 60 to $70, all right? per day that's what you're gonna spend per day um in brazil and that is gonna depend on the person of course what you like to do what you don't like to do uh, how much you go out how much you drink how much you are gonna be dating because i'm gonna tell you like this bro your biggest expense is gonna be females and that's universal that's wherever you go if you don't drink count that number lower if you don't like the party count that number lower if you don't plan on really going on dates count that number lower you know what I'm saying? But if you do like to drink, if you do like to go out, let's say you don't like to drink, but you want to go on dates, that's going to be majority of where your money is going to be spending at uh, because you got to account for yourself and another young lady. And how many times a week are you going to be courting and going out? Because that's where a lot of your money is going to go. And that's just the reality of it, bro. But I can say on average, when you go out on a date with a young lady, you're going to spend around ten dollars maybe ten fifteen dollars you know what i'm saying and, and that, again that depends on where you're gonna go including drinks and everything so damn just to think about that that's crazy bro i'll be fair with drinks and all that you're probably gonna spend around 20 bucks 20 bucks is about a hundred hey ice um typically when i go out with my girl we spend around yeah we spend around 120 hey ice 150 hey eyes. So that's, I mean, like I said, you're going to spend less than $30 on a date. So, I mean, again, that's where most of the money is going to go. But you guys are here for a week, two weeks, three weeks. You having fun. Who gives a fuck? Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video, man. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, turn the bell notification on, comment down below what you think. If you've been to Brazil, let me know uh, how much you budgeted for and how much you went back home with. Because a lot of you guys ask me all the time, how much should I bring down here? I would say, let's just say you're going to be here for two weeks. Because uh, typically that's what it is. I don't, really, I don't really meet too many guys that come down here for a week. Because you got to count for two days in the air. Uh, so it would be pointless to come down here for a week. So typically I meet guys that's, that's here for two weeks or longer. So if you're here for two weeks, I would say 15 to 2 grand. Um, and and that, I think that's, that's safe. You know, for two weeks, bro, I've made 2000 stretched for a month, too. And, and y'all see what I, I always go out. So 
I think 15 to 2,000 is a safe, safe um, amount to still go out and have a good time. Now, of course, if you want to do more shit, you need to have more money. But I think for two weeks, $2,000 is more than enough, bro. Uh, <laughs> I think that's more than enough. Because, again, when you go out, let's say you do go out with a group of friends. You, you run into some Brazilians that you're cool with or you go out with some Americans. And let's say we get two bottles, right? Two bottles gonna probably cost around. Let's just say you get the two bottles. Probably gonna cost around two, three hundred hay ice, which is let's say sixty dollars. Let's say it's four y'all. Y'all gonna split that shit up, and you ain't really, you ain't breaking no money. Really, one person can pay for that shit, truly. But nine times out of ten, the Americans that typically travel to Brazil are always cool as hell. Like, hey man, I get this round. I'll get this round. It'd be five people, right? And you probably only spending like next to nothing for a round of shots or, you know, or I'll get this bottle and somebody get the next one. That's how cheap it is, bro. And in the States, we know one bottle of Hennessy in the club is going to cost you $300. You know what I'm saying? Depending on where you go, 400 or maybe 250 at minimum. So that's just one bottle, not including the section. So it's crazy, bro. $250. I can't even imagine spending that much money on a bottle no more after I know I can get a bottle the same. Not, of course, they don't have Hennessy here, but a bottle of vodka for like $50, bro. Come on. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. I already said that shit again. We're going to get this video. Make sure you guys check out the next one. And if you missed the last video, Go check out that one as well, man. So we're going to get about this thing. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And we love you guys. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.